Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a cornfield located in southern Indiana where the original rotary combine, the twin rotor Sperry New Holland TR70 combine, first released to the market back in 1975, is harvesting corn. In this video, I would like to share with you the combine's production history, specifications, and original price tag, as well as taking viewers for a ride in this historic combine's cab. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this corn harvesting action. Sperry New Holland entered the self-propelled combine market in 1964 when it acquired Clays. This combine manufacturer was based in Zedlem, Belgium, and introduced its first self-propelled combine in 1952 and quickly became one of the largest and most popular combine producers in Europe by the early 1960s. Sperry New Holland wanted to expand its harvesting range of farm equipment that included a very popular line of hay and forge equipment manufactured in New Holland, Pennsylvania. The company built a new combine factory located in Grand Island, Nebraska to begin building Clay's combines in North America under the Sperry New Holland brand. In the 1960s, when Sperry New Holland entered the self-propelled combine market, all major manufacturers of combines relied on a cylinder and straw walker type threshing system to remove grain from the crop material. Sperry New Holland, looking to gain more market share, began developing a rotary combine that would change the market significantly. Conventional threshing and separating using a cylinder and straw walkers relies on the force of gravity to separate the grain from crop material. This requires a large separation area to accomplish the task. Starting in the 1930s, engineers began experimenting with centrifugal force to reduce that size of the separation area. In 1975, Sperry New Holland was the first to market using centrifugal force in a rotary-style combine. The company successfully brought rotary threshing to market by using two counterbalanced rotors that spin in opposite directions and spiral the crop through the combine. Crop swirls around grates three times or more to receive gentle and thorough threshing, separating the grain and putting the crop in the grain bin that has a superior quality. The TR70 Twin Rotor Combine was a very successful product for Sperry New Holland. It helped elevate the company to $1 billion in sales by 1979. This was a particularly big achievement for a short-line manufacturer that was not building tractors, plows, planters, and combines. With a major focus on hay, forage, and grain harvesting equipment, Sperry New Holland outpaced full-line manufacturer Alice Chalmers by $200 million in sales at the end of the 1970s. The TR-70 was manufactured from 1975 through 1978 in Grand Island, Nebraska. It could be ordered with two different power plants. The first option was a 10-liter Caterpillar 3208 V8 636 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 168 horsepower. The second option was a 5.95 liter Ford 2704 
turbocharged 363 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 145 horsepower. The combine is fitted with an 80 gallon diesel fuel tank. The combine's threshing system is comprised of two 17 inch diameter rotors that are 88 inches in length and have a centrifugal force separating area of 2,247 square inches. The TR70 came from the factory with a standard 145 bushel grain tank, which could be increased to 190 bushels with factory grain bin extensions. The combine unloads the grain bin through a pivot style 14 foot unloading auger that pours grain out at 1.5 bushels per second. The TR70 features a hydrostatic transmission and weighed in from the factory with the Caterpillar V8 engine at 15,100 pounds and the Ford engine model weighs in at 14,700 pounds. When the Sperry New Holland TR70 was new, it had an original price tag of $45,619. The combine could be equipped to harvest corn with a Sperry New Holland 962 corn head that was available in wide and narrow rows as a four, five, and six row harvester. The machine featured in this video is using a four row corn head that had an original price tag of $9,270.
Jacob, it's really cool seeing this TR-70 go, and we're coming up in a few years on the 50th anniversary of this combine, first rotary combine, first mm -hmm. twin rotor. How, how long have you had this combine, and how do you like operating it? Well, we've had about 20 years, I'd say. Uh, it's been real fun to drive, and uh, I mean, it always did good on corn, so I've been keeping it around. We, we actually went to John Deere recently, so we just keep it around to you know, have a little fun with it, and it still works good, so might as well keep on keeping on, I guess. Well, it's a great classic. It looks good in the corn today, and do you like the twin rotor technology yeah. on it? Yeah, I always like that. I always seem to, you know, clean good and thresh real good, so we're always, uh, it was a big upgrade from our Massey that we got, uh, went from, so always enjoyed it, yeah. Well, for a 45-year-old machine, I don't see very much corn left out in the ground out here at no. all, and looks like a very clean sample yeah. on the truck and the, yeah. the gravity wagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a few little holes here and there. We might blew some, but, you know, it's it keeps the grain in the combine for the most part and got a good setup, so. So coming from a Massey, which was a conventional combine, mm -hmm. you had a 750 before? Yeah. How does this have any more speed on the with the two rotors or ability uh, to run a little wetter than that or yeah from what i can remember it was a long time ago uh but yeah that and the hyd hydraulic uh, hydrostatic is a lot better than the old i guess it was standard shift transmission on those but that was one of the big upgrades that i remember well even though it's um, over 45 years old now they're 1975 it didn't get any more advanced for harvesting than a than a twin rotor right well, I appreciate being able to come out and see the combine and share this exciting uh, the history of a, the first rotary machine that was on the market. All right, I'm glad to have you out here. And if people want to see your farm or follow it, you're on Instagram? Yeah, uh, it'd be at Jacob's Farm Life uh, on Instagram and YouTube, so you can check that out. Very cool. I encourage people to do it and follow the rest of the farming season. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with and up in the cab of the Sperry New Holland TR-70 Combine as it's harvesting corn. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you operate a New Holland Twin Rotor Combine on your farm, tell me about the model that you're running and the crops that you harvest with it. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional corn harvesting content from this channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.